Hello, in this session we will discuss expression for the radius of curvature for Cartesian curve. So let us say that we are in the Cartesian coordinate system with the horizontal axis as the x, the vertical as y. Let us say this is our curve. So now since we are in the Cartesian coordinate system, we can say that y is actually a function of x and let's say we are considering a point on this curve p so this point p can have coordinates in terms of x and y for a being a fixed point considering a p arc having a length of s let us say that we are drawing a tangent to this curve at point and it makes an angle of psi. Now, with all this information, if psi is the angle made by the tangent, in this Cartesian coordinate, we can say that tan of psi will be actually dy by dx. That is the slope of this tangent. Now, if you differentiate this with respect to s, that is the arc length. So we are going to have d over ds tan of psi equal to differentiation of dy by dx with respect to s. Now with this, we can actually say this is going to be sig square psi if we differentiate this in terms of psi and bring d psi by ds. Also, Differentiating dy by dx with respect to s, let us say that we differentiate or introduce dx by dx. So that will be differentiation of dy by dx with respect to dx times of dx by ds. So from here we have 6 square psi d psi by ds. This differentiation of dy by dx with respect to x is actually going to be second derivative that is d square y by dx square times of dx by ds. Now as we are in the Cartesian coordinate we can clearly see with p having the coordinate of x and y this dx by ds will be nothing but cos of psi. So we will use this cos of psi as dx by ds. So we'll get six square psi d psi by d s equal to d two y by d x square times of cos psi. Now the radius of curvature, which is given by the expression rho, is actually d s by d psi. Therefore, using this here. 6 square psi by cos psi divided by d square y by dx square will be ds by d psi which means this is rho. So we can say that rho is actually sec cube of psi as 1 by cos will be sec divided by second derivative of y with respect to x. Now we know that 1 plus tan square theta is actually sec square theta. So with this we can say that rho will be sec square psi to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d2y by dx square and we will have since tan psi is actually dy by dx in this case. So this expression comes out to be rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by d2y by dx square. Now if we consider y1 that is first derivative of y with respect to 
x and y2 that is second derivative of y with respect to x then then the radius of curvature can be given as rho equal to 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2 so this is the expression which we are looking for also since tan psi is dy by dx what if the psi becomes 90 degree so if psi is 90 degree tan psi will not be defined or is going to be infinity so in that case using this expression will not be possible and for the replacement we can use the replacement is going to be rho equal to 1 plus x1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by x2 where x1 means the first derivative of x with respect to y and x2 means second derivative of x with respect to y so this will be the alternative if psi is making 90 degree that is slope of the tangent is actually infinity so these are the two expressions which we need to remember in this case that is all about this topic thank you